Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today it's Masculine Monday and I'm going to show you a few different tip on this card. Really I was concentrated on this but might as well show it all. So this is emboss with black, uh, so eat emboss with black and then we're going to color with bleach. So let's get start with this part. I got Cajun craze here and the... Uh, Fox, it's from um, away, uh, Wellness Awaits, I think, I don't know where I put, oh, here it is. So this is the set, the Wellness aw Awaits. So we're using the, um, the Fox, and we're going to stamp that with Versamark. I'm going to put that right here. And we're going to emboss that with black powder. Oof, almost make a mess there. You saw that, right? Okay, let me remove this before we make a mess. And then you're going to see when the embossing is done, it really gets shiny. And it don't take long, just first the e-tool, it's not hot, but then the minute it gets hot, it don't take long at all. Here we go. While this is cool off, I don't like to color it with bleach when it's hot. So let's do the next step. This is the new folder in the holiday catalog. I don't even know what it's called, but the branch I call it. Let me show you in the catalog where it is. It should be someplace around here. Here we go. It is on page 39 and it's Woodland Texture uh, Embossing Folder. And what I like about it, it's one of those uh, big one, so you can do it um, vertical or uh, horizontal. So this one, I did it on the long way, and my sample, sample, it's done the other way. So this way you can see both ways side by side. I'm going to use chocolate chip here, and I'm going to do the indirect. So what I'm going to do... And even if it go off a bit, I'm not worried about that. And this, it's very much darker. The other one I did crumb cake on crumb cake, but I want it darker. Et voila. Now, I use the stamp set um, among the branch. That go perfectly with that. We're going to use a leaf. This time I'm going to use this one. I use that one. We're going to use this one. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. That's funny. The stamp said it's not in there. Here it is. Oh, gosh. Okay. We're going to use this sleeve. Oh. Sometime I'm telling you, I don't know which direction I'm going. Here we go. So I'm using, and we could use different color like for fall, you know, but I'm just using a um, Old olive or pear possessed? Old olive. And I'm just putting this here and there. And where you see I get some brown there, I'm not worrying about that. I think it just adds character. You could always use a sponge and do it with a sponge dauber. I'm just adding a leaf here and there. It doesn't matter. It's no right and wrong. So after I'm done with the leaves, then we're pretty much ready to uh, finish our fox. Here we go. That is it, my friend. Now let's remove this. Now to color the leaf, I use bleach Clorox. And I'm going to warn you, wear something old because it seemed that every time I work with bleach, I splatter on myself, and today I get a good shirt on. I don't know what I was thinking, but I get 
I'm going to show you brand new shirt. Look at the spots. So, what can I say? It happened, right? So wear an old shirt. You never know where it's going to go. Okay, now this is embossed. I use, and you see I mark it, this stayed there, and I fill that with bleach. Here we go. And you're just going to color. Depends on the heat at your house, how warm it is or how cold it is. It's going to play with the color. Depends on all your bleach is. That can play a big uh, factor in your uh, coloring. Another thing that play your factor, it's how long your bleach been at the daylight. So when you buy a, a gallon or a thing of bleach, you see it's not see-through because the light affect the power of the bleach. Okay, now you're going to leave that there. I got bleach coming out all over this. Okay, let me remove this here. It's leaking, I think. So now, as it dry, it's going to get lighter and lighter. You can see it start getting lighter. So that's, I would let that dry completely. And then I use the... I used the number four and number five. So number four it was for the black and number five. One, two, th one, two, three, four. And number five was for my fox. See? And this was my backing. That's in the oval. I always count from the left to the right. So I'm going to let that dry. We're going to put our card together. Uh, oops. And this one, instead of black, we're going to do it in, cr uh, not crumb cake, but in early espresso. So that's what I'm going to do my uh, thing with. I'm looking for a piece of early espresso here. Maybe, maybe not. Here we go. So, here we go. And now I won't cut my fox right away because I don't want it to, um, it's not dry yet. It take a little bit to dry. So this is going to go there. And then I'm going to put my fox and mount it in my early espresso. So you see, one it's going this way and one it's going this way and the branch still going because you had an um, embossing folder my branch would go this way so you just get one choice to do one way so this is the beauty of the new embossing folder when it's a direction they make them bigger so we can go uh, either way and what I done with this I just took a piece of burlap cut it there this is it, my friend. See now how lighter it is, and this is still not uh, dry there. And after it was dry completely, I took um, garden green and I color a bit of the grass there. I think you can see the green. But you have to let it dry completely before you use your marker on it. So this is it, how to do the bleach and then your background with the woodland embossing folder. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you like it, thumbs up. If not, you can put it down. Thank you so much for your support and for all your stamping up product. Visit my blog at frenchystamps.com. Thank you so much.